shoot him in the glowy bits. Smash him, Pavati. Yeah. Fourth Rudder! Doors are so big, I think they're just walls and I go straight past them. Workbench discovered yet. Yeah. Keep your wits about you down there. I don't want to clean crispy freelancer bits out of the radiator's den. Oh, all right. I had a big thing in the corner. Dismounty pillars, the armor kill them. Go, Pavati. Smack him. Yeah. And then Vikamax, you go get that one. I smite you in the name of the law. Yeah. Awesome. Good job, team. Come on, the creepy crawlies. Yoink. Climb up here. Good news. Song tells me the security mechanicals booted up and killed a bunch of mantis. Bad news. Diagnostic says their circuit boards are fused from the heat, so they're not too picky about who they kill next. Okay. Sneak past if you can. Shoot back if you need to. I can always fix them later. Yeah. We're gonna shoot him then. If you're not worried about it, then I'm gonna shoot him. Grab all these supplies. I actually have some more lockpicks. Beat our loot addictions. left main objective we quickly check out the right side track on the side track quest oh, oh, oh. I heard you quietly now grab all of that all of your stuff in you on Shoot him in the glowy bits. Smash him, Pavati. Yeah. Done. Oh, there's more. You're going down the ladder. I will. Good job, team. How we do it? All the bots are down. We got some XP. That's the terminal. I have the parts in position on my side. Go ahead and cycle the droplet pumps. Alrighty. If you don't know what that means, just look for a command that says cycle droplet pumps. Yes, man. Cycle droplet pumps. Well, first, let's check the logs. Always check the logs when you're into this. Cobbled together. The staff are getting reckless. 
workaround and half cook solutions are all we've got to mend ground breakers bones in many cases we can't revive one system without cannibalizing another grandma lived with that reality and so will i I can rally our spirits, but what happens when I'm not around? Grand Breaker's rule test will be seeing if our independence outlasts me. I'll take that bet. Old plans, new problems. Found some of Chief Yoying's old schematics. Grand Breaker must have been taken a beating during the crossing. She spent half of her career patching it up. A lot of corners cut when they put this place together. Among her papers, I also found the layout of a hangar. Match any of my docks. Something that might have gotten sealed off along the way. Blood cells isolating an infection. I hate to put sentiment down in print, but every time I open a panel, I find some work around in the guts of this old bird. Like I can feel you reaching out to me from the past, Grandma. All right, that's very nice. Cycle the pumps. Done. The temperatures are dropping. Stop by once you found your way out of there. Groundbreaker owes you thanks. Okay, let's go. Now the loot, oh, yep. Oh, grab that one. Ooh, is this a shortcut back? It's good. And we went the long way around. Hey, doggy. Ah! Ow! Wasn't that far. Archive logs, arrival confirmation, some history about the ground breaker ship. We don't care enough about that. The ship is Halcyon News. Nice and cool now. My boys are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. Thanks. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Oh, well, it sounds like you don't have a lot of faith in the board around here. You're right. I don't. The board is after two things. Bits and power. And they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Not like Udom Vedford very much. I like to think of myself as a nice person. But if that gaudy embassy of his was on fire, I might hold my breath a moment before activating the sprinkler system. The board wants control over Groundbreaker. And leeches like Udon Bedford will do anything to please their corporate masters. How do you keep the board at a safe distance? I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. Ready? Back to my other questions. You've got my attention. Uh, so what is it like being in command around here? Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life-or-death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Okay. Okay, well, Pavati here could always help you shoulder the burden. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducks and panels, we could work something out. Keto. Um, so this ship is a, well, it's a family business? Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gein, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from chief engineer to captain. They must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. 
He's so awkward. Oh well, my, <coughs> my condolences, Jun Lee. I'm sure those are big shoes to fill. Appreciate it. There wasn't much that took me by surprise about the job, but the little things you never expect or think about, they add up over time. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennyson's know about. <laughs> hey, where's the self-destruct mechanism? I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. I gelded that thing years ago. Now it brews a stim that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family recipe. Aren't you a little young to be training a successor already? You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. Okay, back to my other questions. You've got my attention. We'll be on our way. Alright, so let's look at fixing this comms issue then. Say she had a comms. Talk to someone else to get. Hey, please, Edna. Edna, she said, didn't she? All right, Edna. You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. Why would we run out of time? You headed somewhere? Me? No, but our relaying capabilities. That's on the final countdown. We're going offline in three, two, one and a half. No, wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or uh, sometime dire soon. Okay, why are you about to lose comm capabilities? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The event's forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. That'll put the whole system in a right dire situation. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Oh, sounds like it's time to get the auxiliary station back online then. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. Oh, side quests. Alright, well, I could check out the relay. No need for official sign-off in that case. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky, or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with signature sure. reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? Yeah, totally. What do you mean? The relay stations orbit the edge of the Halcyon system, so they tend to receive the majority of any transmissions from Earth. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. Okay. Um, so you just let messages from Earth sit in memory on an orbital relay? It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. Oh, fair enough. I'm off. I'm off, then. All right, well, more side quests. Let's go do that one before we get picking up stuck picking up any other side quests around here. Sorry, Vicar, you're going to have to wait for your book thing. Repairs going just plug the last the O2. C and D Morse words. It's not the worst. Unless Are you listening to me, Emperor? Oh? Is it just me or is Groundbreaker feeling extra chilly? Maybe you ought to help yourself to a piping hot frozen dinner. Oh, and it's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Spacer's. Taste the freedom. Hate those guys. A lot of slogans to keep track of. And sometimes I forget. Uh, you work for Spacer's Choice? Ever been to Edgewater? Heard of it. My orientation Aetherwave showed that famous Saltuna cannery. 
which I'm sure smells as good as it looks. Uh, well, <laughs> don't go looking in. If you did, that'd be good, actually. They could use the help. And if you do, please don't mention us. I'd have to go over my contract, but I don't think I'm allowed to leave Groundbreaker. Or this stall. So, what can I get you? Some soap? Everyone loves soap. Everyone will love you for using it, too. I have to ask you about the stupid hat. I'm bound to satisfy headgear-related inquiries. Please send any complaints to our Consumer Care Headwear Division. Are you doing all right in there? Oh, I'm having a stellar day. And not just because I'm legally obligated to say so. Almost as stellar as a spacer's choice is affordable. Can you see in there? I can see all of the top quality merchandise in the Spacer's Choice catalog, which is available here at a reasonable price. How do you brush your teeth? Spacer's Choice regrets that we don't sell toothpaste at this time, but we're always working on delivering exciting new products to our customers. Sprat Wash, Mouth Wash, and Manta Floss are among the exciting line of dental goods currently in development. Riznak wants me to buy one. Well, if I can buy one, I'll buy one. Do you miss eating solid food? Don't miss out on these deals. You'll find none like them on all a Groundbreaker. I do want or one, Chris. anywhere in the Halcyon Colony. You sleep with that on? Trouble sleeping? Try our Lunar Eclipse mix. Nope. That's two handfuls of pep pills washed down with a hearty swig of two-hour energy brew. The blast will send you through the stratosphere and the crash will knock you out gold, guaranteed. Nice. So where can I get a hat like yours? You would never ask if you knew what it's like in here. <laughs> I mean, why anyone can be a Spacer's Choice Consumer Relations Choice Specialist. Just keep your nose clean and aim for the moon. Yeah, has been. There's a lot of dialogue in this game, and I like RPGs and dialogue, but even sometimes this is getting a bit much for me. I'm trying to trim some of it out. At least mix it up with some action. Oof, but it's getting tricky sometimes. Uh, Alright, enough talk. Enough hat talk. What are you selling? Have a look. I need to sell you stuff. Sell junk. Yep, that us up a bit. I'll probably just break down a bunch of stuff. Oh, that's his. There you go. Here's the hats. Boosts your lie skill. All right, Grizz, for you, for science, I'm buying one. Hope you like it. I'll put it on in a minute. Sell. 32% discount, all right, that's good. Oh, that helmet, okay. For those. Hang on to a couple of these still. Ready. Up my new hat. There we go, lovely. Become Bert, be one with the Bert. I am indeed one with the Bert. Bert, Bert, Bert. How does it work? What is back here in this little schoolroom? What do you think you're. Oh, oh, busted. Uh, I was just leaving, dude. Oh, I guess, uh. Never mind then. Where did you even come from? Oh, my Grand Raper rep. No, we're not doing that. That's the thing. Was that guy there before? Bert Newton. Ah, oh, yeah, I see what you mean, Grizz. That's a very Australian reference. Oi. No way. Fourth Radar! Seem to work, okay. Alright, 
some more tuna. Ooh, rest and go key card. I already got one of those though, didn't I? Stole it from somewhere else. Oh, and there's a defective Moon Man helmet. Do with that. It does temperament plus one. Where the defective one? Oh, it's a unique. Unique. Oh, that's even better, Grizz. Oh, dude. Steel shit doors open. Let's grab some ammo. The other guys wandered off. Yoink, 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 yoink. Steal from the dodgy. No, nope, wrong button. Right. Ah, now we were going to the ship, so we could do this other side quest. Why don't we it's go? Between the unreliable and the rest and go, I believe I'll sleep on the ship. Get highlighted. Get your con. Get to. Ah. Oh. Contact. Not talking to. Side quest. Remember Auntie Cleo? Because she remembers. Side quest. Go to the relay. Fight some stuff. The breakdown. A few items that we don't need. Oh, back to the ship. Hey, you got a second? Oh, Felix. Felix, Felix, Felix. What up? Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine looking ship. Thanks, man. Only thing it's missing is me. Join us, Felix. Yep. Ellie May's on the case. She knows what's coming. But you're pretty eager to throw in with somebody you barely know, dude. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. Uh, all right, Felix. Tell me why I should hire you. You're serious. You're giving me a shot. All right. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I put together a little speech, just in case you asked. Hey there. I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. I'm enjoying this. Go on. Firstly... I am highly personable, and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. He's funny. Uh, secondly, I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. Good that motto. motto is a, it's a work in progress. Uh, so Ali May, I think based on the quick research I did the other night, his skills are very similar to Pavati's skills, so um, engineering and sciencey stuff. Um, although I think stealth, he can it can boost your sneaking skills, but we're not sneaking that much in this. Um, and Pavati's um, smash special attack is better than his lame fly kicky thing. Although his kick looks cool, I don't think it works that well. Uh, so Felix and Pavati are similar, I think. So for now, I'll stick with Pavati and Vicar Max in the party, but let him, we'll let him come on the ship, but we'll make him sweat it out a bit first. Continue, Felix. Additionally, I have several years of experience as a box hauler. This skill may come in handy if you need a body dragged away or a door held open while escaping enemy fire. In conclusion, thank you for considering me for your ship crew and or outlaw gang. I look forward to our adventures together. I thought that was real good, Felix. Thanks for the vote of confidence. What do you think? Am I in? We're letting him in. Asbin thinks he's shifty for looking at his feet, but I think it's just because he was reading. Um, Dragging off bodies, shoot out. The hell kind of ship do you think I'm running, dude? The fun kind? 
I mean, what else do you do when you got a ship of your own? All right, good answer. Welcome aboard. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not going to regret this. Okay, uh, I'll see you on the ship, Felix. I'll just gather my personals and meet you on board. This is going to be great. You got a crew now, Felix. Yeah, don't make me regret it, Felix. Jones. Or is he talking about Kaylee from Firefly? This Pavati is very like. Yeah. Um. All right, time to go to some relay thingy. There it is. Destination relay. Yeah. Kaylee from Fireflow is awesome. We all love Kaylee. Pavati's a bit like her, but a little bit more beaten down. Less perky. Alright, crew, let's go into the relay. Is this. I'll lock up behind you. Thank you. We are taking Pavati and Vicar Max. So, before we do that, I think I need to give Vicar Max. It looks neat. Um, Vicar Max, I think you need some more better armor, dude. Terrible though. Ten. Okay, that's probably the best I've got actually. Alright, never mind. As you were. Although. Plasma. Well, that's a unique one too. On tag. Heavy machine gun. Ooh. Have that. Probably a good time to pause here. We shall continue another day in another episode. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Tell your mum I said hi. Oh, oh.